Vaccines are essential for controlling the COVID-19 pandemic, although they are not 100% effective at preventing infection. A breakthrough infection is when a fully vaccinated person becomes infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Up until now, COVID-19 vaccination has been shown to be incredibly effective at preventing illness, hospitalizations, and deaths, even though, as we mentioned, it's not 100% effective at preventing infection. We know from previous waves and other variants that people who are vaccinated have about a 90% reduced risk of being hospitalized from COVID-19. So why are COVID-19 vaccines not 100% effective? Well, there's two main reasons. The first reason is that certain people, certain vulnerable people, such as those who are HIV positive, older individuals, or people's, people with cancer may not respond as effectively to a vaccination as those who are younger, healthy adults. This means that their immune system is not as capable at producing protective antibodies or killer T cells against the SARS-CoV-2 virus as those who are younger and healthier. The second reason is that you have a very different immune system in your nose as you do from your lungs. When you're vaccinated in your arm, this does a great job of inducing your immune system that runs throughout your body, protecting your lungs. It's not so effective when you get a vaccination in your arm at inducing an immune response in your upper respiratory tract, such as in your nose. So we know that lower respiratory tract infection leads to severe pneumonia um, related to COVID-19, and this is really what severe disease is. Um, therefore, when you're vaccinated in your arm, the vaccine is very effective at preventing this severe disease in your lower respiratory tract. So I've also heard a lot of chatter about Omicron being less severe than previous variants of SARS-CoV-2. It's in my opinion as a virologist that there's no such thing as a good variant that's going to help us get out of the pandemic. All variants are going to lead to some type of disease burden, especially in vulnerable populations. So what we kn do know in some early data is that a third dose of an mRNA-based vaccine, so a boost, is associated with greater protection, specifically with the Omicron variant. Moving forward, researchers such as myself here at Vito, as well as around the world, will be analyzing the case numbers against those hospitalizations um, hospitalizations requiring extensive medical interventions, such as uh, the need for oxygen and ICU admissions, and those cases associated with death. This will give us a better picture of the disease severity associated with the Omicron variant. Additionally, we'll also be analyzing um, cases and hospitalizations um, against those people who have been who haven't been vaccinated and those have been vaccinated with one or two doses and those that have received a third dose or a boost.